Analog Stick Desoldering Scrolling through the soldering subreddit reveals a treasure trove of soldering carnage. Ideally removed using a hot air rework station, these multi-layer controller boards can absorb a lot of heat. They require a lot of patience to remove with just an iron. However, somebody has made a custom soldering iron attachment, which heats up all the pins at once for stick removal in just seconds. Even professional technicians have switched to using this over a hot air station. The only issue is it's $75 and it's often out of stock. Cheaper alternatives can be found on AliExpress, but they're still 40 bucks and they're not nickel plated. But I happen to have a two millimeter copper shim laying around, which only cost me five bucks. I wanna see if I can make a budget version of this tool. I'll mark out where to drill the holes with this analog stick board I have. Then I'll use the completely wrong drill bit to botch the whole thing. Look at it smiling back at me, mocking me. These holes are supposed to line up. So then I switch to a drill bit intended for PCB drilling. I'll drill a large hole to mount the soldering iron. Then just tap it in, tap it in. Give it a little tappy. The copper gets hot really quickly when cutting it, so I keep burning my fingers. but after grinding it down, it's now this cool Millennium Falcon looking shape. Warp one, engage. To mount the piece, I'll use a spare heat press insert adapter that I had lying around. Before using it, I need to prep the tool by filling the holes with solder. I'll turn up the heat on my iron because it's going to need more power to keep the block heated. Wow, look at the pretty colours. So I think instead of admiring the pretty colours, I should have been super quick in applying solder before the copper oxidised. I can sand down the blackened surface, but I'll need to run the drill bit through these holes again. There's definitely a benefit to having this nickel plated. Okay, let's give this thing a whirl. After almost a minute of nothing happening, I realized I had turned my iron back down to apply the solder. I've turned it back up to 440 degrees. So let's try that again. Ta-da! All right, let's try the other one. Ooh, it's so satisfying when it just falls out. I'm curious if I could also use this tool to reinstall the stick. Out. Hot. Metal hot. And the result is wonky AF. It's definitely possible, but I guess it takes a lot more practice to master.
Okay, controller number two. The next sticks took about 45 seconds of heat before they would release. And trying on a PS5 controller, each stick took a couple of minutes. Modern electronics are assembled using lead-free solder, which has a higher melting point. Most hobbyists use leaded solder as it melts at a lower temp, hence it is much easier to work with. After cleaning up all the solder, I reinstalled the stick using leaded solder. I'm curious how well this works when it's installed with leaded solder. And this time it's almost instant. So the verdict is it works, but I don't think this 2mm piece of copper is really thick enough. These multi-layer boards suck all the heat out of it and it takes too long to get back up to temperature. If I was making a version 2, I'd use a 5mm slab of copper. Anyway, it works okay. Links in the description if you want to buy one of those other ones.